In this section, we will cover wheel nut installation as well as the SKF lug locking device, which is used on hub piloted wheels. We will not cover stud piloted mountings. Before you begin, remove all foreign material to ensure the drum fits the drum pilot properly. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for installation. The brake drum must be fully seated on the drum pilot and against the hub face during and after installation of the wheel. Take care not to get any lubricant or anti-corrosion material on the flat area of the hub, drum and wheels where they mate. Apply two drops of oil between the nut and flange washer and two drops of oil to the last few threads of the stud. Lightly lubricate the hub pilots to ease installation and later removal. Before installing the drums and wheels, rotate the hub so one of the wheel pilot bosses is at the 12 o'clock position. Then reinstall the brake drum and wheel by following the manufacturer's instructions. Next, place the wheel into position. Start with one or more nuts to hold the wheel and drum into position. Snug the top nut first by applying 50 foot-pounds of torque. Install the remaining nuts using the sequence shown for 10 and 8 stud configurations to 50 foot-pounds. Then retorque to 450 to 500 foot-pounds following the same sequence. Always use a calibrated torquing device to ensure proper clamp load is achieved. Clamp load is the amount of force created by the wheel stud and nut. For instance, with an M22 by 1.5 stud and nut on a 10-hole system, there is approximately 50,000 pounds of force when properly torqued to 500 foot-pounds. Warning: It is extremely important to maintain proper clamp load to avoid wheel nut and or stud failure, which could end in catastrophic wheel end separation. Recheck the torque or lug lock position after 50 to 100 miles. Any replacement hardware should be equivalent to the original equipment part. SKF offers the OEM SecureX wheel nut by Metform, which meets the Society of Engineers standard SAE J1965 torque and tension requirements to ensure proper wheel assembly is achieved. Maintaining proper clamp load is not only important to safety and component life, it is also important to managing the total cost of vehicle operation. Increased tire wear from loosened wheel nuts impacts fuel consumption. Again, if a wheel nut is not properly clamped, catastrophic wheel end loss can occur. A wheel end that has proper clamp load will benefit from optimized component life, including the tires. SKF offers lug locks that provide an alert when a nut is loosened so that further inspection and retorquing can be done at the time of occurrence rather than the next scheduled retorque. The SKF lug lock, available in 33mm and 38mm sizes, fits virtually all wheel nuts in North America. It is a very inexpensive way to improve your cost of operation. It also has a backstop so that the nut doesn't continue to loosen and potentially fall off. Be sure the wheel nut area is rust free. Then, push the first lug lock onto the edge of the wheel nut in the 12 o'clock position. The SKF lug locks will follow the curve of the entire circle of the rim. Working counterclockwise, install the lug locks onto the remaining wheel nuts, ensuring each lug lock clicks into the previous one until the ring is complete. Using the palm of your hand, push each lug lock onto the wheel nut until the outer face of the lug lock is flush with the outer wheel nut face. This leaves a one quarter to one half inch gap between the lug lock and the rim. Do not push the lug lock all the way onto the wheel nut. It can make removal difficult. Wheel end maintenance is now complete. In the final section, we will review the key points of wheel end maintenance and show you how to access additional maintenance and repair information from SKF's TFO program. But first, let's test your knowledge on this section by taking this short quiz.